Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you the best accounting softwares for small businesses. Down below in the description you have all the links to the accounting softwares that I'm going to mention in this video so we can check them out by yourself. Without further ado, let's start. The first one I prepared for you is Wave. Wave is a top-notch accounting software because the one reason, it's completely for free. The only thing that you're going to have to pay if you want to gonna have employees and you want to run a payroll through Wave or uh, like you want to pay, mm, like did you have like bills or uh, your customers wants to pay for invoices, you can choose Wave for that. And that's really good. But everything else, if you want to, create an invoice, you can do it completely for free. If you want to have purchases and you want to create a bill, you can do it too. You can have recurring invoices and you can create them. Then you can have like checkouts here and you can simply add the customers and products and services. And because of this, Wave is top notch, but there is something missing in Wave. The first thing is that you're not going to have complex reporting. So first thing, yes, you're going to have cash flow, balance sheet, profit and loss, the basics, but Xero and QuickBooks is completely dominating Wave. And then you don't have projects in Wave. So this is another thing. So if you're looking for a Wave, you need to choose a different option. But other than that, if you want to go with the invoices and you want to just go with the bills and go create recurring invoices, Wave is a top notch for small business if you're starting out because it's free. So I definitely recommend that. The next thing is FreshBooks. FreshBooks uh, is like higher level comparing to Wave and because of a few things. So it got bill on retainer, then it got time tracking ability that you can actually create projects and time tracking them. So this is huge comparing to Wave if you need it. And then you can have options to mark an expense as billable and charge your customer. So that's really great too. And then again, it's simple clients. You click here on invoices. I recommend definitely check it out by yourself. Click new invoice. And you simply add a client here. And voila, build two. I can set a reminder. I can share charge late fees and I can add a description, add a book here and voila, I can click save. And now I got a new invoice. FreshBooks is really good and I recommend choosing FreshBooks if you want to go with the project. And that's pretty much it. But another thing, the reports are not complex again. But projects and invoicing in the whole system is okay and it's better than Wave. But you have to actually pay money for it. It's monthly $15 a month, 5 billable clients, $25 a month, 50 billable clients. So you see that it's like you have to actually pay money. So if you want to go with a cheap but good quality, go with the wave. It's good. But if you want to go with the projects and time tracking and a little bit with advanced with advanced uh, functions, you need to go with the fresh books. Now, to do the next one is Zoho Books. Zoho Books is also really amazing, but Zoho Books is really great if you want to use Zoho Books whole system. Expand, subscription, inventory, checkout, and also CRM system. In that way, I would go definitely with Zoho Books. If you want to go uh, with the whole Zoho world, Zoho universe, then, but again, really simple. Similar to FreshBooks, similar to Wave. It got more reports. You can do still time tracking. You can click start and start timer, or you can lock simple time. You can have purchases here, vendors, expenses, bills. And again, sales, I can create invoices, I can add credit notes here, I can simply click new and form invoice. But I think that FreshBooks uh, invoice creation and Wave was much prettier and easier. And I like design of FreshBooks and Wave much more comparing to uh, Zoho. But that's me, of course. Now, uh, that's pretty much it about Zoho Books. It's good. It's really great if you want to use the Zoho universe. Um, I, like if I would use it alone, I don't know. I would go definitely probably with QuickBooks that I'm going to present you soon. The next one is Xero. Xero is a top notch too, but the learning curve is higher. You can do the time tracking on projects. 
sometimes it's difficult to master it and the customer service is not that great on Xero comparing to others. Now, when you could just click here, businesses, you can click invoices and you can add a new invoice. And I just want to see, see the process, the design, for example, for invoice creation. And again, you just write it to someone. And you just add here the item and that's pretty much it. But the accounting of reporting is much more complex. You can do also the bank reconciliation and you get multiple reports here that you can do. When you go here to bank accounts, you can reconcile 26 items and really play around it. Then also you have checks here, expense claim, bills to pay. You can have templates for invoices. You can have all contracts all together. This is the one thing I really like that also on Zoho, also on Facebook and Wave, you don't have it, that you would have all the contacts together. So this is a huge thing in mind, what I think. And you can have like customers here, suppliers and everything. So Xero is complex, the most complex out of these four that I presented you. But the best and like the top notch is a QuickBooks. And not only because that, okay, the customer service is not that great. It, many things it are similar to Xero, but the design is easier to understand. When you would go to dashboard, it got the best business overview I've seen. It feels like modern, right? When you would go here to, it's okay, but Xero, dashboard menu, fresh books, dashboard, you need to scroll a lot to get the information, wave too, you need to scroll a lot, Zoho books too, but in QuickBooks, you got everything together, right? Really simple to understand. And I really like this top notch thing when you would click on the privacy. Voila, here you got it. No one can see anything. When you are on a cafe or something, you just enable privacy and you get to go. Then you get banking, sales. I can click invoices here and I can simply create invoice. And you got it customer, billing address, products and service. Pretty easy and really fast. Then you can do payrolls, time. And it's the most complex one and the most best one. Another advantage of using QuickBooks is that many accountants know how to work with it. And that's really good. And now look at this time. I can simply add a diamond tree or I can either start a project. What's the name of the project? Project one, customer, save. Voila, here I got the project. And I can simply, with an overview, I can add to project the time, the expense, the invoice, the estimate, and it looks beautiful, right? Comparing to Xero, when you would go to projects, all projects, it just doesn't look so pretty, you know? But maybe you like it. And you just go to top right, invoice or add, time entry, estimate expense. So QuickBooks is a top notch out of, out of all of those, but it's the most expensive. So this is another thing. When you would compare it to Xero, QuickBooks is much, much more expensive. So yeah, to summarize this whole video, Wave is really great if you're starting out and you don't want to pay any money at all for accounting. Uh, because it's completely for free only if you want to like people to pay you through the wave and have employees then it's good freshbox is upgraded version of wave but it's not like it's oh, the price is okay but again uh you're gonna have to uh, you can have time tracking and you can have projects then zoho books is really good if you want to integrate it with your whole ecosystem of zoho and then the last one is uh xero Xero, like the second one, Xero is a top notch too if you're gonna have employees, small, medium businesses, but again, design is like, nah, not my cup of coffee and the learning curve is higher and QuickBooks is just still top notch that I recommend. But again, the customer service is not that great in QuickBooks. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments. I really hope this video helped you to learn and get something new.
and know how to use things. And yeah, thank you very much. Have a great day, guys, and goodbye. See ya.